Hello. Yes. <laughs> Just guys. Oh, welcome to Mocast number one. Here we are with the new guest Morgan Bosk. He's an <laughs> Italian and American uh, producer, sound engineer, musician, and tell me, tell me about. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, thanks for having me. Sort of the main thing that I do is uh, sound engineering. So that's what I sort of studied to do. That's what I've always been passionate about doing and studying. Um, but I work for this place called The Rattle, um, where it's basically, it's meant to be a collective of artists and startups in music. But what I do is I work very closely with the artists, sound engineering, a bit of production. A also, bit of talent, also talent scout? No. No, not talent scout, okay. but um, like collaborator almost. Okay. Yeah, you could say I'm like, like the collaborator. Okay. Um, I work with them to, to create whatever they're making. So kind of part of the band in a way. Um, so yeah, mainly sound engineer. That's what I'd love to do, to be honest. As you can see, I'm in a replica of Abbey Road Studios. And I wish this was my studio, but ours is close to it, almost. I wish I had those speakers. But yeah, I'm here in London and... How um, long are you here in London? Almost five. Almost five years now. Five years? Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, probably going to be five years in December. I think the 19th, 19th of December. It's probably when I got here. So it's better UK than uh, USA or Italy? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Difficult question. <laughs> Very good question. We can say they all have their pros and cons. Um, definitely in the music, I'll, I'll just stick to music, um, in the music industry. It's a bit more exciting, a bit more, there's a lot of opportunities for sound engineers and musicians and bands and anybody in music. In Italy, not so much. In the States, yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff, but um, I, I haven't lived there enough to know what it's like. I've been to Los Angeles um, just this year, and it's, it's different. Americans and British and the Italians, they have a different way culturally of, you know, getting along with people, chatting, things like that. Right now, the UK is okay. Maybe, maybe in two years, uh, we'll see what happens with Brexit and all that. Okay. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> it's pretty close, actually, the Brexit, yeah. Oh, yes, Boris. <laughs> yes, Boris, yeah. Yeah, we were thinking, like, we were also thinking, like, what happened during uh, lockdown and everything. Is there anything you've done in particular, any project you worked on, or did you have time to work on your stuff, your own stuff, or did you spend all the time working for uh, your startup, The Rattle? Weird, because I had so much work to do, so it was full on work. For me, there was, there was, it was just non-stop. I got a little break where I started writing a couple of my own things, but I haven't finished anything. Like I plan to come out with releases and my own music, But I don't have any willpower to finish my own music right now because I'm constantly just 24-7 requested to, hey, can you edit this? Can you mix that? Can you change this? Can you come into the studio? So it's just too much. When it gets to the end of the day, I just want to like... Um, so you just, just still working during lockdown? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 24-7. So much. Um, how about you guys? How, like... <laughs> Lockdown. I think in England it was better. Italy is uh, the shit. Yeah, what what job you were doing? Um, no, exactly. I mean, we work in a studio, so we had to change everything we do to online. And if you know how to reinvent yourself, you say, okay, we can mix in the studio, but you can also do things online, you know? Yes, but you yeah. can dance online. <laughs> Maybe. You can dance in VR. I have a VR headset. Yeah, let's see what uh, what they're coming up with Oculus. Mm -hmm. We should make a mock cast on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you went to a workshop with your Oculus, no? Uh, no, I went to a hackathon where they were using a lot of VR things. Uh, yeah. I mean, and your companies and art installations and things like that. So you get and arcades. So there's a lot of Oculus fanatics around. So now, after lockdown, you have a new artist, uh, new bands, uh, new something new? Yes, yeah, some new people. 
I've been working with lately. I think one of the projects that actually came out because I work on so many things that don't come out about maybe 2% of the things that I work on actually see the light um, in, uh, was by an artist called Alfred Nomad. Promise that I'll pay you right back. Can you hit me on my hash? Can I borrow fifty dollars? I promise to give it right back. I got a check on the way. Can you hit me on my cash app? You can find him on Instagram. Yeah. And from Los Angeles. So he's actually part of uh, the Rattle Los Angeles because we're London. Okay. So that's we've been working remotely. So he asked me to play a bit of guitar. So you, um, so you never met him only on uh, streaming? Only, yeah, only okay. I've only met him through Zoom. Yep. Okay. And so we, I, I, I mean, I love this type of music. It's my, it's, it's what I like to play. So I played a bit of guitar, and then um, I mastered a couple tracks with Gigi, who also works with me. He mixed most of the tracks. Um, what kind of music is uh, this art to you? Um, I'd say sort of. Um, Hip hop, soul, rap, R and B, uh, mostly hip hop, rap, okay. um, and it's all around trying to talk about sort of like mental health, and mental health in the black community as well, um, over in Los Angeles. And he is just raising; he's just doing a lot of great things. Um, and I was thinking, um, so Morgan, have you ever been to to Saint Tropez? Yes. <laughs> What do you think about Saint-Tropez? You think uh, money is all... <laughs> do you think money is happiness? <laughs> no. No. Um, the, no, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> money is... <laughs> not happy. Let's um, drink a coffee on it. <laughs> do you just, think coffee is happiness? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, for for yeah. more cast, yes. <laughs> yeah. More cast, yes. Brought yeah. to you by Bialetti and um, coffee. Yeah, we're gonna put the link of uh, oh, Bialetti. Bialetti Mocha <laughs> on the description. Maybe they can sponsor us. Uh, so, so, you think uh, for uh, new people who want to do your work or something like uh, in music, you need to uh, do it, or you need to go to your university. Is it can we yeah. go to school or not? Uh, can you self study, self school? What universe, but for me, for sound engineering, music creative, what that's useful for is to put a structure to what you need to learn. So, a structure to what everything is out there. Because you can find anything, you can learn about anything on YouTube, online, etc., etc. But there's no structure. Like, you can learn how to. Because right now there's one thing that I'm going to do is learn filming and filmography, videography. Um, there's so many things about how to, you know, set up a scene, how to set up things. But if you go to school, the first thing you think is, first thing you might study is uh, light and what is light, the physics of light and how that influences what you shoot and the mechanics of a photo camera and why that influences what actually comes out in the end. So it puts a structure to it, whether if I'm trying to make something you know, look great. Um, I just go to the end point without understanding what's behind it. So in a way it is useful, but do maybe one, two years to put a structure and then the rest you need to have as much experience. Don't study for the rest of, I mean, learn new things, but don't study um, in this sort of like structured way forever because you have to have on-site experience, you know, you just have to have experience with it. And I learned, like for example, sound engineering, I only learned how to record and mix properly maybe in these past two years. And I think what I did at uh, the uni, what was it, eight, nine years ago? Um, and just now, in the past year, I'll be like, okay, now I understand it, what everything was. And, and you just learn by experience. You just learn to, to, to put all that theory into practice. Um, so yeah, in, in a way, yeah, short courses I would recommend for sure. Um, if, if that's, okay. that's more, um, if that's more convenient, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. um, or you sort of get stuck in, in a system 
that doesn't let you learn from experience. Uh, it depends where you are. I know Sweden has a great, great sort of music community in the universities and things like that. And um, I've heard great things about that as well. And that's a different thing. And uh, what do you think about uh, the the trend, the hip hop trend in music in 2020? Is uh, is still uh, still there the hip hop, or maybe in future? Do you think the next trend of music uh, only trap or maybe something more? Uh, Who do you think is, is is having the you know difficult because? So <laughs> difficult question to answer. I don't know. Like with with social media and with Spotify and with numbers and billboards and things like that, the things that are actually new trends is what isn't going to make it on the billboards or number ones or is going to be most of the times. Um, it's it's mostly like underground scenes and little sort of niche groups and, and communities of people that created something a bit newer or more interesting or a, a mashup of different arts and culture and genres of music and whatever and those are the interesting bits because they're new and you're like oh like what is this um the, the next biggest thing i don't think we're gonna see anything anytime soon but just variations of what's already out there maybe i, I know um if i want to see what kendrick lamar is going to come out with um this year because um he's just released something called i think PG, PG Music or PG Collective, something like this. Um, I want to see what what happens there because I really love what Kendrick's doing. And what he's doing. And so, what is your favorite uh, artist or band uh, in the moment or inspiration? Or something like um, this band called Prep that I found here. In, I mean, I found on Spotify during lockdown and it's sort of like um, 80s disco, new disco, French disco sort of things. They're called Prep, P-R-E-P, and I found out they're from London. And I'd love to do something with them someday. Um, and if you listen to them, it's like Breakbot and things like that. Oh, and I also found something called, and you should see this, Poolside FM. They made a website. Uh, it's these Scottish people, five developers and two founders. Um, and it's like a website. It looks like an old Windows 95 website, but it's like a radio station. Um, and it's all sort of new house, disco, funky, um, sort of like tracks, and it's it's amazing. Um, check it out. Poolside FM. Incredible. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you, thank you again, Morgan, for today. This was a mocas number one. Episode number one. Cheers, guys. Again, yes. with our coffee. Please. And please don't forget, if oh. you like the podcast, Mocast, you don't forget to follow us and to put like. Bye Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Morgan. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Morgan. Bye.